Kengashuhi, KTN News. Now, following the itinerary created by Gen Z after Thursday's demonstrations, the ongoing protests against the Finance Bill 2024 have gained significant momentum. Young activists have shown an impressive turnout, making their presence felt in both nightlife venues and street demonstrations. This widespread participation across different spaces highlights the deep engagement of Gen Z in the current political discourse, demonstrating their commitment to addressing issues they believe impact their future. An Musungu reports. <laughs> As Friday night turned into Saturday, thousands of Kenyans united in the unique protest. From one nightclub to another, Gen Z's joined in singing patriotic songs and chanting, Ruto must go, as the clock struck midnight. On Sunday, young Christian Gen Z's activists followed through a peaceful demonstration, marching from GPO to the National Archives. The event highlighting their frustration with the chart's perceived silence on the finance bill. Kenya in, in a compromise of 85% Christian. 85%. If 85% of those voices actually rise up and say that the injustice, and this is the same, same injustice needs to be spoken up. The Gen Z activist effort resonated within the religious circles as pastors joined the demonstration acknowledging the church's prayer silence on current issues. This united front of young Christians and religious leaders marked a significant shift, suggesting that the younger generations call for more active engagement from faith communities in social and political matters was being heard and embraced. We stood up and we said, because the ch ch church, our forefathers, have been silent for so long, where we're having anger directed to violence, we're having deaths happening, we're having young people willing to put themselves on the line for the sake of justice. We've decided as young people who know the truth, who know Jesus, that we're going to make it seem that the church won't be silent. We won't join part of the silence. I've apologized to where you feel as a church we have let you down. The church has not been quiet. I was corrected when I also said that. Then I say then we are communicating in the wrong forums. If you are not being heard and you are speaking, then that means you're communicating in the wrong forums. But the church is speaking, the church is praying. While joining the demonstration, pastors also urged the young activists to maintain respectful approaches in addressing their concerns. This guidance emphasized the importance of constructive dialogue and peaceful protest, balancing support for the youth's engagement with a call for measured and dignified activism. Gen Z, do not insult government. Pray for government. The Bible instructs us to pray for our leaders and also to speak to the leaders out there. A few leaders are showing arrogance. I saw a women's rep from I don't know which place calling Gen Z lazy people. As leaders, remember you have been given a position of influence that if you say some things, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You can cause harm. On Tuesday the 24th, the youth are expected to call the MPs that voted yes. On 25th, there will be a total shutdown as they go to the streets again. On 26th, a visit to Ipoa and the IG office following the killing of Rex. And finally, on 27th, the main roads leading to Nairobi will be blocked following the Occupy State House hashtag. And Musungu KTN News, Nairobi. Well, trust KTN News to keep you updated 